Hello there and welcome to the C++ basic tutorial represented to you by the Code Brewery. I Rish Deshalda is here to help you with the course. Please do like, subscribe, share and comment and what you need more in the courses coming soon. In this section we will learn about loop types and which are used in C++. So let's get started. Now if we come to type of loops, we'll see there are four types of loops. First one is do while loop, second one is while loop, third one is for loop and fourth type of loop is nested loop. You will heard about nested loop in very few books as most of them don't speak of it. We will understand each loop one by one. Now to understand them one by one, we will first see about while loop. It repeats a statement or group of statements while a given condition is true. It tests the condition before executing the loop body. Second do while loop, it's like a while loop statement except that it takes the condition at the end of the loop body. It will always loop at least once even if the condition which we give in the while parenthesis, it will even loop once for loop execute a sequence of statements multiple times and abbreviates the code that manages the loop variable nested loop nested loop is a very different thing and not most of the people learn about it now but we use it more often in a star pattern or any kind of that pattern which repeats itself in different type of ways if we see the flow diagram we can see that uh, if we execute an a statement if from the flow diagram we can see that uh, if a statement is executed and the condition is met if that condition is true then the code which is inside those in, in which is inside the block of code will be executed and that uh, code will execute it and again the condition will be checked and if when it becomes false the loop we will come out of the loop and our code continues after that now first we'll see about while loops let's learn with its definition a while loop is statement repeatedly executes a target statement as long as the given condi condition is true that means it will loop unless and until the condition becomes false the syntax is like while brackets condition and in block of code statements and if we see the flow diagram we can see that First, the while condition is met and if the condition is true, we go inside the code or else we come outside and it won't even loop once if the condition is false at the starting only. Now if we see about the second one which is a for loop, its definition is a for loop is a repetition control structure that allows you to efficiently write a loop that needs to execute a specific number of times. In this we know that it will it will execute how many number of times or when the number of times it has to be executed. It is the most used loop which we'll ever ever see in C++. It is used in most of the code I must say. Syntax for bracket open in it or initialization semicolon the condition and semicolon and either increment or decrement may happen which will um, which will eventually lead to make condition false and then block of codes then block of code we'll see from the flow diagram we can see again that if the condition is true it will execute or else it won't third type of loop is which we're going to learn is a do while loop the definition of do while loop is a do while loop is similar to a while loop except that a do while loop is guaranteed to execute at least once time as we can see from the syntax, do is written in starting and no condition is with it. Then we'll, we write the code which has to be executed and then the while condition is taken. And if, as you can see, it will at least loop once. Even if the condition is false, it will at least loop once since the condition is given in the end. From the flow diagram also, we can see that do first will happen then the code which has to be code block which has to be executed will execute then the condition will be checked and if the condition will be true it will be executed again and if not 
then it will move further now mostly we only see about three types of loop which are do while while and do for loop only but this fourth loop is very much less talked about it is the nested loop a loop can be nested inside a, of another loop c++ allows at least 256 levels of nesting those are very much but trust me most of the loops only go for four levels or five levels only not more than that now syntax we can see for for loop is that we write the for loop syntax and again in in the code we again write the for loop same we do in while loop and in the do while loop also we write the code we write the loops inside the loops and hence it becomes nested the another section in loop types which we'll see is the loop control statements statement which can control the flow of loop will be called loop control statements these are break continue and go to statements we'll see about them individually also but let's have a definition about them for continue it causes the loop to skip the remainder of its body and immediately retest its condition prior to reiterating and go we see about break terminates the loop or switch statement and transfer execution to the statement immediately following the loop or switch go to transfers the control to the labeled statement through though it is not advised to use go to statement in your program go to is mostly said that you should not use it is only used when it is the most crucial point that we have to only use go to only and we can't use any other let's have a look at them individually first is break a statement as usually how it is used it is used inside a loop or in a switch case switch case statement switch case statements will be learned afterwards its syntax is will be only write a break keyword and a semicolon and it happens flow diagram you can see as we go in the conditional code and if the break break statement is encountered we exit we get out of the loop or code of the in which it is written and the code continues the second type is continuous statement it is used in some other cases it continues the next iteration of the loop to the take place skipping any code in between it is used in for loop or, or in do while and while loop syntax is normally we write continue flow diagram you can see it goes normally we it encounters continue and the condition if the condition is met it goes again iterates if we see about the third type which is the go to statement which is mostly advised to avoid a go to statement provides an unconditional jump from the go to to a labeled statement in the same function no use of go to is highly discouraged syntax we can see is that go to and a label is written with semicolon and after few words of line we can see label statement is again written with a semicolon flow diagram you can see from flow diagram that in a block of code if a go to statement is met and it has the label 3 then the label 3 state from the label 3 statement the code starts again as it jumps to the code the last section we'll see about the infinite loop as it happens some of the time that uh, the either the condition is not met or it is not either decremented or incremented and the loop goes again and again and it becomes an infinite for loop we can see infinite loop is a condition if the condition does not become false as you can see in the example that no condition is met that uh, that is not neither increment or decrement is happening and hence this loop will go on and on and on again and again note you can see that you can terminate an infinite loop by pressing ctrl plus c keys so that was the wrap for the topic and i do hope you understood the topic well if not please write in the comments which you did which part you didn't understand and i will try to make video about it and make it more better please do like subscribe comment and share with your fellow mates and we'll see you in the next lecture